6 News Sports. Day one of Big Ten football media days included a lot of discussions about hazing NIL, the transfer portal, and whether or not Iowa's offense is going to show up this season. In 2022, the Hawkeyes were second to last in the nation in yards per game. Head coach Kirk Ferentz says he knows there needed to be some adjustments, that his offense wasn't performing the way that it needs to to win in the Big Ten. It is what it is. It's on record, and uh, it's it's really nothing to, to worry about. We're, we're, we're focused. We'll stay where it's been. It's you know, Our focus is going to be on winning games and playing the best we can. None of us are running from last year. We, we were not good offensively. I mean, it's, you don't have to be a, a rocket scientist to figure it out if you just look at numbers. Iowa finished last or second to last in the Big Ten in all major offensive categories in 2022. This season, the Hawkeyes and these stats could change dramatically thanks to Ferentz dipping into the portal and nabbing former Michigan quarterback and Big Ten champion Cade McNamara. I only knew him on film in 21 and then on this very field, I uh, got to experience, uh, you know, his performance on the other side of the field, the wrong side of the field. So we had great respect for him. You know, in that December 21, I had no idea he'd be joining us a year later. There's no debating Iowa's performance on the other side of the ball. Hawkeyes ranked fourth nationally in total defense, allowing an average of just under 278 yards per game. We're just one of those bend, don't break defenses where we're just gonna we're just gonna keep fighting. Um, and you may punch us in the mouth, but the thing about us, we're just going to keep fighting. And if you can outlast us the whole game, kudos to you. While Buckeyes award winner Jack Campbell graduated and now plays for the Detroit Lions, the Hawkeyes return Big Ten preseason defensive player of the year, Cooper DeGene. The preseason honor coming after the then sophomore set a single season record of three pick sixes. The humble Iowa native, however, keeps it all about the team. I, I know we got a lot of guys that are that are excited about this team and, and, and this season, and we're looking to we're looking forward to getting back on the field here next week um, and putting it all together. I want to do whatever it takes to, to help this team win football games this season. Off the field, Iowa has an ongoing sports gambling investigation involving some football players. They're part of the program. I mean, Noah Shannon's one of our top top guys. He's uh, just a tremendous young man, tremendous person. Um, he may or may not have violated an NCAA rule, time will tell. The Hawkeyes kick off the 2023 campaign on September 2nd against Utah State. On the docket for day two of Big Ten Football Media Days is the Huskers. Head coach Matt Rule and offensive lineman Ethan Piper, linebacker Luke Reimer, and quarterback Jeff Sims take to the podium. We'll have all that coverage from here in Indianapolis.